Minecraft 1.21 was just announced and here's everything you need to know about this crazy new update. From the new blocks to the new mobs, this video is going to show you everything and even some secret things that Mojang tried to hide but luckily I managed to find these things out. So one of the first things that is actually new in the game is actually a new Minecraft block. Luckily for us it's not one of these boring ones though, it's actually something called the crafter. You see the crafter is actually quite similar to that block in Minecraft called the crafting table. Except the thing is with the crafter is that you don't actually need to craft any items yourself. You see this new item from Minecraft actually crafts the item for you. That actually might make a lot of players really lazy but it opens the world to a whole different realm of possibilities. Now the crafter actually works when you use either a button, a lever, a redstone signal or something that simply activates the crafter. Now of course with the crafter you're going to need to make sure you have the materials inside the item or else it's not going to work. Now what's crazy is that they didn't actually reveal the crafting recipe for the craft so we don't know how much materials are going to be going into this item but from the image of the crafter we can probably bet that it's definitely using some wood most likely some stone and probably most likely some redstone and if i had to guess it probably would include some iron too now there was also a bit where they showed these characters running through this bit and we can see that the crafter auto crafts the armor and applies it to the characters then next we have something that's really cool basically they introduce a new structure and they call this new structure the trial chambers now what makes this structure so cool is that this is like any other structure we've seen in minecraft this is because the trial chambers actually are procedurally generated. If you don't know what that means, it means that every single time you see one of these trial chambers, each one of them is going to be completely unique, which means that you're going to get so much variation in them, and it's highly unlikely you're going to see two of the same ones. Now, of course, with the trial chambers, you do need to be careful, because these trial chambers are actually completely booby-trapped, which means whilst you're trying to grab the nice loot that's in there, you could actually potentially get killed by the dispensers. Now, one last thing you might be wondering is where on earth do I find these trial chambers? Do I find them in the desert biome? Do I find them in the plains biome? Do I find them in the jungle biome? But in reality, you can find them in any single biome. Now, one thing you also do need to know is that if you're looking for them, you're not going to be able to see them on ground because these things are completely submerged underground, which means you're going to be need to be digging if you want to find them. Now, there's actually something really cool about the trial chambers, and that's because they actually added a ton of new blocks. So some of the new blocks were actually in the background, so we had to pay attention to see what was actually included. Some of the things included was copper doors, copper trap doors, transparent copper blocks, many different tough blocks, and many different copper block variants, including chiseled copper blocks. Now, not only did we have these amazing new blocks, we also had something that was really cool. We had one of them which was a functional block. So we actually got the new copper bulbs in the game. And these are actually quite similar to redstone lamps and the fact that these things can be turned on and off. Now what's actually crazy about these copper bulbs is that they actually have a unique feature. Over time, these copper bulbs will actually dim down due to the oxidation of the copper. So if you want to change this and increase the brightness of the bulbs, you could just simply use an axe and strip these off. So it definitely creates an interesting dynamic. So that kind of means structures that don't really get that much attention will actually be dim and fade over time. Now this is where the trial chambers start to get really interesting. The trial chambers actually have something called a trial spawner and this is definitely something that you don't want to miss. You see the trial spawner is actually a Minecraft mob spawner but this is unlike any kind of mob spawner you have ever seen. You see this Minecraft mob spawner is arguably much more dangerous and that's because this Minecraft mob spawner changes depending on how many players there are. So if you're there with your friends you can be sure you're going to need some armor. The good thing about these trial spawners is that just like a regular mob spawner a trial spawner only activates when players come close to it. Now for some additional information is that the blocks on the floor actually tell you which kind of mob is going to be summoned. In this video, you can see that the packed ice actually means that a stray is going to be summoned. Now, apparently, if slimes start to spawn, you're going to see moss blocks all on the ground. But you need to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed because by the footage that you're seeing on screen, this trial spawner is honestly no joke. These mobs will try to kill you. But there's actually one thing to know about these trial spawners is that after these mobs do try and kill you and you manage to kill all of them, you actually do get a ton of loot. You can actually see from the footage that these guys get emeralds and they manage to get some diamonds to pop out of that spawner which means that these trial chambers are actually pretty worthwhile and then of course that brings us to our next point which is of course the new minecraft mob and no i'm actually not talking about any of the new ones this is the dangerous mob that minecraft just announced Although what's kind of funny about this mob is that it doesn't actually sound dangerous they've called this mob the breeze and it's called the breeze for one reason that's because the breeze shoots air at you well sort of you see the interesting thing about the air that it shoots at you is that weirdly enough it doesn't even damage you well i mean it does damage you if it hits you but that's not likely to happen. You see, when the breeze mob actually shoots the wind charge, it actually can interact with redstone blocks and it can actually change the state of the blocks. Meaning that if it shoots a bunch of trap doors, those trap doors open up. And if those trap doors open up, well, I guess you can tell what happens next. Whoever's standing by those trap doors can immediately get trapped, which means that when you're fighting the breach charge, you actually need to pay attention to your environment because there are tons of trap doors in the trial chambers. Now, one thing that you should know about the wind charge is that it's actually quite similar to two Minecraft mobs. First of all, it has a similar style of movement as the Minecraft wither which means it can float around and do damage exactly like the withers doing except it only shoots wind charges which means that unlike the 
Wither, it doesn't deal as much devastating damage. I think maybe they're from the same family. Now, the Wind Charger also reminds us of another mob in Minecraft, and that mob in Minecraft is, of course, the Blaze. So if you actually take a look at the Blaze, it kind of has a very similar phase to that of the Wind Charge, and it also has something spiraling around it along with the Wind elements. So I would say it's clear that these mobs are kind of somewhat similar. It also seems to have the same eyes as a Shulker, if I can get him to open his face, which means that Mojang probably combined these three mobs in order to get this Breeze creature. Now, another secret thing that Mojang didn't actually tell you was that they actually inspired the Breeze creature by another Minecraft mob from another Minecraft game. So if you've ever played Minecraft, you might know about Minecraft Dungeons. It's basically an RPG style game of Minecraft, but there's a mob in that game that heavily inspired the Minecraft Breeze. I'm talking about the Minecraft Windcaller. As you can see, this is a mob with a stick that fires wind at its enemies. You can also see that wind is definitely circling this creature and it also has the same color scheme as the new Minecraft mob, the Breeze. So you can see that when these creatures actually fire the wind at me, I get blown back just like I would if the Breeze attacked me. And just like that, you can see that's exactly what the Breeze's attacks are going to be like. You don't take that much damage, but when they do hit you directly, you do take damage and you do get moved back. Now we need to talk about the new Minecraft mobs, because the winner, the Armadillo, was just announced. Now luckily for me, I do have access to the Armadillo early, and the Armadillo, although it wasn't everyone's favourite, it's definitely an interesting Minecraft mob. Now some people might think the Armadillo is useless, but it actually serves a really good purpose. First of all, the Armadillo actually spawns in the Savannah biome in Minecraft. Now what's interesting about the Armadillo is that if you start the armadillo it actually does curl up into a ball you see this is what armadillos do in the real world because their armor can actually protect them from any attackers so this is what happens if you damage the armadillo it kind of just looks like something weird and uh yeah i'm not really gonna say what that looks like <laughs> But here's the crazy good thing about the armadillo, even if you didn't want it in the game. But if you manage to kill the armadillo, it actually does drop these items. And these items are really critical. You see, these are called armadillo scoots, and you can actually use these scoots to craft armor for your dog. So essentially, you want to be able to craft this into the dog armor. Once you have the wolf armor or dog armor, you want to just find a dog, tame it. And then, of course, you just want to apply that wolf armor like that. And you can see that our dog is now protected. So I think that this is one of the best features Minecraft has ever added, because now we have dogs that literally can protect us and finally won't be dying every five seconds but the one thing they didn't state is how much armor it actually gives them this is because most armor especially when you're trying to put armor on a horse it's actually made out of something like diamonds but with the armadillo armor we don't know how strong it's going to be so it will be interesting to see if we can combine it with diamond armor to make the armadillo armor even stronger and this is because minecraft said some small changes are going to be coming to the 1.21 update so some of the features that you're seeing now aren't going to be final now what about our other mobs the crabs unfortunately the crab actually didn't win the minecraft mob vote but were second place here's the thing about the these mobs and why I'm talking about them, Mojang did actually say that they might add some of these mobs at a later date in the game. So even if these guys aren't in the game right now, they actually might be very soon. Now as for the Minecraft Penguin, I'm actually pretty sad that these guys didn't get added to the game. I think they didn't get added to the game because they didn't actually add that much functionality. Other than being pretty cute, I think people wanted dog armor for the longest time. So I guess when you think about it, this mob vote kind of does make sense. Although like we stated before, Mojang did state that they might be adding penguins at a later date. So we don't know for certain that they're never going to be in the game.